All right, so guys, I wanna welcome you back to the channel. This is The Digital Review, I'm your host, Mike. And before I get into today's video, uh, I do wanna make a quick announcement as far as my direction with the channel. Uh, I really wanna get into more guy things than general things. You know, things that guys like to talk about, being sports, being shoes, being athletics, workouts, gear, etc. So if you are a lady, you can feel free to show up to the channel. You might hear something that you like, uh, but just understand that I am directing this channel towards guys. In this video, we're gonna talk about this shoe. This is the Nike Aero Keto. And I see these out a lot. I see a lot of people wearing them, so I picked up a pair. I'm gonna tell you what I think about them. I'm gonna give you a rating. One being horrible, five being great. I'm gonna tell you how long I think they'll last, how much you should pay for them, what they're worth, and what you should do with these shoes. And I'll be right back. All right, so let's get into the video. So. These are the Nike Air Okido, and I will put a different picture up so you can see them, okay? And these are a really popular shoe. They're a 2019 model. This is not 2020 model, um, but I picked these up at the local Nike outlet for 23 bucks, okay? I think their MSRP was $59.99, and for $23, I figured, what the heck? You know what, I like the color. I can do a lot with these. I'll give them a shot. Uh, these were first made and designed in 1987 uh, by Tinker Hatfield. I'm not sure if he's still designing shoes for Nike, but he designed these in 1987. And it seems like every year they've just been getting a remix, a remix. One of the things that I like about them that I think you will like about them as well is they come in several different colorways where you can use these as a fashion statement. You can match these up with shorts. You can match these up with jeans, uh, whatever type of gear you wear, you know, joggers, etc. And you know what? You're going to find a color that makes your outfit work. So that's one reason why I like these. They kind of remind me of the uh, Nike Tangent a little bit, how they came in so many different colors. And, you know, people just rock them. And that's, that's kind of what I do. I, you know, I don't even tie them up half the time. I just put my foot in, pull the tongue out, we're good to go. So. Um, they're rated on their website for running, and I'm gonna put a warning up right here. Warning, warning, warning. Do not run in these shoes. Um, these are not running shoes. If you run in these, they will probably last maybe a month and your feet will tear up. I just don't think they're expensive enough to run in at all. Um, to me, this is strictly a chill shoe. This is a cooling shoe. This is trying to match outfit with different colors, etc., make things pop, or just go, you know, very bland like these are. Um, on the website, they say they're designed for minimal aesthetics. I agree with that. Comfortable cushioning, we're gonna get to that later. Clean, simple, upper mesh. If you look around the shoe, this whole shoe is mesh right here, okay? And that is true. Clean, simple, upper mesh. And then it has a foam midsole. Don't you see that right there? All right, it's got a foam midsole and it's for lightweight cushioning. They are extremely lightweight. Um, if you get the right pair, and this is where I was gonna get back to the comfortable cushioning, because when I first saw these in 2019, I thought, wow, those are some nice shoes. They had a really nice royal blue. I put them on and they hurt my feet. Fast forward a year later, I tried on four pair. They all hurt my feet except this one. And I actually thought maybe something was different about this one. I took the sole out. The sole was, you know, the original sole. So I figured maybe I just got the good pair. I don't know. That's why I say don't run in them. So if you just pick up a pair, you know, from left to right, don't really care about what you get, um, chances are they're gonna hurt your feet. If you find the right pair, these are really comfortable shoes. And I don't know what that means, if they're cheaply made or if Nike just had a run that wasn't very good. But um, if you find the right pair, these are very comfortable shoes. So I can't 100% co-sign that comfortable cushion. These are, but I feel like if if you say that, they should all be that way. And they are not all that way. There are some Nike of kettles that will just flat out hurt your feet. Um, but like I said, they come in several colors. They fit true to size. This is a 13 and you know, my foot's like, you know, I got about a half inch. So they fit true to size. Um, if you're a Nike shoe wearer, you ought to know uh, what size you wear. If you have a low arch to a, to a medium arch, these are perfect for you. This is not a high arcing shoe. Um, these are low to mid arch shoe, okay? And if you have a wide foot, you'll be okay in these as well. I know no, normally my, Nike makes um, the more narrow shoe, but this is for the, I'd say normal to medium sized foot. And if you got a fat foot, you might wanna go to a different shoe. But this is not bad. For what I paid for it, 
$23, you can't go wrong with this. I'm actually gonna pick up a few more pair. For $59, mm, I might shop around. I might, you know, get something different. I might even go to a different brand. But if you get them under 45 bucks, it's not a bad price to pay at all. And that's including tax. So looking at the rest of my note, the most common complaint was that they uh, were too big. They did not fit true to size. I totally disagree with that. These fit true to size and that the soles wore out quickly. I think I would agree with that. These are made to last three to five months. Um, chilling, maybe, you know, yeah, I'm gonna stick with that. These are made to last three to five months. And if you wear them every day, I'd say after four months, get rid of them because your feet are gonna hurt. So if you do any kind of activity in them, you know, you might be able to do like squats or uh, things that require a flat surface, but anything involving bounding, jumping, uh, shocks, absorption, um, running, things like that, don't do it. Don't do it at all. So that is my review on these. Um, I would give these a three and a half out of five. I don't think I can give them a 3.75 because they're not consistent with the cushioning. I like them for the look. I like them for the price. I like them for the versatility. Um, actually on the website that says simple, versatile, essential. Uh, to me, these are simple, they're versatile. I don't know about essential, but I would agree with two out of three. So I'm gonna go with that. Three and a half out of five stars. And uh, that's what I think about them. I would love to hear what you guys think about them. If you were rocking these right now, you know, how would you paint these? What would you do to them? Would you pick up a pair? Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. If you like what you heard, hit the like button, subscribe. I'm still trying to get to that 1,000 subscriber mark. So I took a little break in February. I'm back in March. And stay tuned for the next series of videos.